we run towards the situations and the males and environments that reflect back to us dysfunction. Because that's what I am. And that's what's fun to me. That's exciting to me. I love the fact that I don't know what's going to happen next. I, I love the fact that every day is a roller coaster going up and down, up and down, up and down. I love the fact that I kind of I got to constantly try to chase for the I have to constantly try, try to chase the peace. That's fun to me. And unfortunately, a lot of black females thrive off of that. So we go after the men. I'm sorry, the males that can provide such excitement. It's the chase for us. See, a lot of females say, oh, the man supposed to chase me. I love the man. The man supposed to pursue. The man, the man, the man come after you. But here's the real tea, you guys. A lot of females, we love to be the chasers. You didn't know? You didn't know? Let me tell my brother something. See, as your little big sister, I'm going to give you the inside scoop and the inside game. Females, we are the ones that actually love the chase. We love to chase the man. We love to chase the male. That's the game. That's the tea. This is why when it comes to the men that give us no attention, no play, those a lot of the times are the men that we find ourselves going after the most. The man that is constantly hitting us up, blowing us up, trying to save us, trying to be there for us. D do you get any play? And I'm talking in reference and in regards to a lot of the females, not the women. Women, we don't play these fucking childish games. If you like me and I like you, it's going to be a mutual understanding and a mutual pursuit. All of this, oh, playing hard to get, that's for the birds that's dead. I'm grown. But a lot of the females, oh, they love that shit. The gen genetically modified modern day females. That are in abundance, they love, ooh, love me a chase. This is why the, the men who try to be gentlemen get no play when it comes to them. Correct me when I'm wrong. I'll wait. We can hit 500, like the video, share the video, subscribe. I'm trying to give y'all the background. I'm trying to give y'all the science. You get no play. Why? Because you're boring. You give me nothing to chase. You're already there. You're already the final destination. But the pursuit of getting him to turn into the Prince Charming, the pursuit of, giving, of getting him to act right, the pursuit that's what's exciting. The roller coaster, the up and down. The he ain't shit, but some sometimes he's nice. So again, that gives me a little bit of hope to keep chasing. Yeah, he be cheating on me and he be dogging me out and he ain't doing this and he ain't doing that. But he blow my back out and girl, he be so sweet sometimes. And you know, so th 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 there's still hope. It's the chase. The dysfunctional chase of it all. Correct me when I'm wrong, baby, and I shut up. But see, I'm a woman. And so I know what we be on. Hold on, y'all. I was once a GMO female. I know what the fuck we be on. This is why when it comes to Ralph, uh, no, no thanks. 
There's no chase there. You're already pulling up being what I need a man to be. Oh, no thanks. Boring. So you mean to tell me day in and day out, you just are already a good man? You're not leaving me to wonder where you are, what you're doing? Hmm. Then when we finally realize that these no good ass males will never change, it doesn't matter what kind of potential you saw in him, how good he stroked you down last night, made passionate love to you while looking in your damn eyes. Oh, so see, well, last night he was so romantical and he was looking in my eyes while we made love. And so I, I can see the Prince Charming in him. He almost there and it never happens. It never comes into fruition. And now when she finally realizes that now she want to go back to Ralph. But before she even goes back to Ralph, this is what continues to happen. The chase, the pursuit of turning Pookie into Paul, turning Ray Ray into Raymond, turning Madman into Emmanuel. And she'll play that game time after time after time after time. Oh, well, I couldn't turn Ray Ray into Raymond, but I can turn Pookie into Paul. Then you waste your time on that mission. Well, I couldn't turn Pookie into Paul, but I can turn Man Man into Emmanuel. That fails. And then you rinse, wash, and repeat. Until you come to realize, damn, all black men must be trash. All black men must be Pookie and Man Man and Ray Ray because all the ones I keep entertaining and get with, they the same way. So it must be that all black men is the same. No, bitch. You don't ever just want to get with Paul. You don't ever just want to get with Emmanuel. You don't just ever want to get with Raymond. You want to build a nigga. Then when a woman like me comes along and says, hey, you guys, build with Paul. Build with Emmanuel. Build with Raymond. It's like, oh, no, nah, I ain't never doing that because I've been there and I've done that with Ray Ray. And I've been there and I've done that with Pookie. And I've been there and done that with Man Man. Well, there's the problem, ma'ams. You're trying to build with broken, broke down, dusty men, males. I'm telling you to build with men and you got a problem with it all because you're scarred from trying to deal with trash bags. Jokes on you, ma'am. But because we do not have enough knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to come to grips with that, we just want to say, oh, it doesn't matter if he's a Paul, a Emmanuel. A Raymond, they just the same as Pookie. They just the same as Ray Ray. They just the same as Man Man. All of them trash. I hope y'all following me. I'm trying to break it down to a crumb so you can eat it. I'm trying to put it to you stupid and plain so you can internalize it and learn. That's what we do, black women. I'm sorry, females. Black women, we don't do this. Again, we make distinctions over here. Basic ass bitches. Yeah, it's a difference. Basic bitches and black women are not synonymous. We make distinctions. Then after a while of us saying, oh, Raymond ain't shit. Paul ain't shit. Emmanuel ain't shit. And y'all all all the same. After you hear that for so long and for so long, many years day in and day out from a big bulk of the women that you come from the women that you give birth to the women that reflects you you get to a point to where it's like man what the fuck fuck them and that is what you're saying black men do they're saying well fuck them let me go somewhere else Since no matter what I do, I'm going to always be perceived to be trash. Let me just go somewhere else. Let me take myself out since I'm the trash. Say less. Black men have said, say less, sis. And they're out. 
and now they're the problem. Now they're the ones. And it's like, no, 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 no. We we can't do that. We we can't do that. We can't do that. Then we go over by the damn wayside waiting on um Dan Rico and Chan to save us because look, I've been dealing with Pookie Ray Ray and Man Man all this time, and I'm damaged goods now dealing with them no good ass ninjas, all black men the same, and so I might as well go over here. But you still damaged, sis. See, you failed to realize that you were just as damaged and bad off as the, the males that you were entertaining and sleeping with. Women, we're receivers of energy. This is why it's very important for us to be very mindful and careful about who we do lay down with, about who we do entertain. So you got a bunch of pooky man man and Ray Ray energy up in you, sis. You need a cleanse on so many different levels, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. You need a cleanse, sis. You was already damaged before you laid down with them. Then you got the nerve to, to take in and receive their energy. You even worse off now, baby. You got you need to be by yourself for a minute and, and clean up. Do some internal work because it's you. It's you too. We don't want to do that. Mm-mm, ain't nothing wrong with me. It was them all along. I got rid of my problem. The problem was them black ninjas. And you so messed up, sis. You so messed up. And so don't you, you go over there trying to wait, and you're you you just waiting. Now there are some of us to where. We are good, wholesome women. We all have our problems, right? Like nobody's perfect, right? So you, you can you can you can find some instances where it's some great black women and they're dealing with no good ass males, and then they do the reflecting and say, you know what? I'm too good for this. I need to give myself better, and then they go and they find better for themselves. And they're able to choose from the rainbow. Black men, white men, Asian men, Hispanic men, they can go wherever they want to go and they're going to get quality because, again, they have realized that, you know, maybe they were entertaining the wrong crowds. But again, it started with self, self reflecting, seeing where I was coming up wrong, what I need to, do, need to do differently. That happens. And we can see those select few of black women who have done the internal work, done the self-reflecting, and they're able to go somewhere differently or get s- certain desired results. And we feel like we can do the same thing. And it's like, no, sis, you are not the same. You are not a black woman. You are a black female. And you're out of your natural organic state. So you're GMO. You can't do that. So a lot of us go over here with our genetically modified modern day asses talking about, yeah, because I, I deserve the best. I'm a real woman. Hold on. Let me get my banners. This is how we pull up. We pull up just like this. Y'all give us 500. I'm a real woman. They just couldn't handle up on me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. What a real means is that because these broke dusty trash bags, they just, they just couldn't handle no real women. And they end up letting us stand right where we are at with our hands out like, bitch, please, this ain't free. Get that shit off on black men. Over here, we don't just let a female pull up any type, any kind of way, any type of way with her hand out. Because we care and we're fighters. Fuck out of here. Then we realize, damn. 
They really just left us over here with our hand out. Ashy and blue. Damn, they really just walked clean past us. Damn. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me black men are the only men that really will allow a female to just come through ashy? Broke down with a hand out and he's going to tolerate that. I thought since black men did that, that I can pull that shit off everywhere, anywhere. And it's emphatically no. No. Black men have spoiled y'all. Let's be clear. Thank you, Chris. Uh, when I was in them streets, I never had to chase 304s. I learned early on the worst I treated them, the harder it was to get rid of them. Why is that, Chris? See, I'm, I'm giving you the background and the science behind a lot of the 304 mentality and state of mind. They like the chase. They do. And the more toxic the chase, the better. Because now it gives me more excitement and more of a thrill to try to change you and get you to then chase me. And if y'all have noticed, the moment that they get the man or that male to start chasing them, they fall back. Because now it's like, okay, the chase is over. The thrill is over. Let me try to find a, a different pookie to be a Paul. And, and see my worth and see my value and chase up behind me. It's very toxic in that way, right? It's very, very toxic in that way. See, when it comes to women in general, I'm not going to lie. Like, we all like men with options because, again, it shows that he is somebody that is in a powerful, dominant position. And we want to be on the team of that type of man. Right, we want to be the one that that type of man chose because then I'm like a winner. So that that's something that universally I feel like all women desire. We like men with options, right? But when it comes to the female, the genetically modern, the, the genetically modified modern day female, to where she's warped and toxic and dysfunctional in her thinking, she likes that on a toxic scale. So I want a man that is disrespectful, neglectful, and chaotic, that has many options. That way, when he chooses to be with me, I can be looked upon as if I'm the woman that was able to tame the beast. That makes me on a, that, that places me on a whole different level and a whole different scale, right? Because here I am, the female that got chose up by the beast. I'm able to make the beast behave. That must make me the baddest bitch. Because who else could do this? Who else but I could do this? So they want it on a whole different level, which is why the worse you treat them, the harder they go after, the, the harder they pursue you. Because again, I want to be the one that, that tames the beast. Y'all give us 508 likes. So it was like, oh my God, oh, I got to try harder to tame them. That's what it is. But once I finally tame you, oh yeah, I'm going to get my props. 